Hello amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about phone freaking, also known as the act of freaking. So what is it? It's basically manipulating a telephone signal to get free calls. You're going to reverse engineer the noises that are made by the operators. So that's that dial tone that you sometimes hear. It's not the exact same thing, but it's similar to that. You're gonna replay those noises into your telephone for free worldwide calls. Does it still work? No, we'll get to that, but I think it's definitely interesting. It started in 1960s with various whistles being able to produce a 2600 megahertz tone. I'll try to include that tone for a second now. There we go. And is that same tone was used as the telephone lines. Some people could repeat that phone line, that phone tone, exactly by whistling. Most notably, there was a blind man called Joe Engrazia. Sorry if I butchered that name. But these guys were known as whistle freakers. By just whistling, they could get that signal to repeat into the telephone, which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. Now, in these periods, Captain Crunch, the cereal, released a whistle as well in their cereal boxes. The cool thing about that was that this whistle, this, this cereal box whistle, could also produce the exact 2600 megahertz tone. So, freaking awesome, of course. Now, later on, attacks got more sophisticated, of course. It didn't stay with simply a whistle from a Captain Crunch cereal box. What became known as blue boxes were self-constructed transmitters, which could be able to transmit the same 12 tones as operators as described in the Bell System Tech Journal from 1945 and 1960. It became popularized in 1971 when Esquire in their story The Secret Little Blue Box published for much more information and of course it captured everybody's imagination because everybody was like oh wow free worldwide phone calls of course it was super expensive to dial outside of your country this became popular on campuses and famously steve jobs and uh, yes yes steve jobs and steve wozniak made blue boxes themselves which is freaking awesome if you ask me now, in the mid-1970s, AT&T announced that about $30 million in total revenue was an estimation of what was lost due to phone freaking. In 83, phone lines upgraded to the CCIS system, which basically separated the telephone signal from the voice signal. So then, of course, that was an end for freaking. And I give all credits to Heidi Marie Bush for uh, researching a lot of these uh, facts. A link to the article is gonna be in the description below. And I'd like to thank you, of course, for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye, my dear viewer.